Hello everyone, this is uh, Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to discuss something interesting and that is the reign of Shah Abbas. So Shah Abbas came to rule Persia at the time when Iran was at its weakest. Its western provinces, specifically Azerbaijan, Hamadan and Ahwaz had fallen under Ottoman control during the uh, war of 1578 to 1590 in this war the ottomans decisively defeated the safavids led by muhammad khoda banda and in the, in this uh, due to this defeat the safavids were forced to cede large parts of their western provinces and this was a major setback but abbas when abbas came to rule iran was also invaded by the uzbeks and it was very weak the uzbeks had taken the northwestern half uh, sorry the northeastern half of iran and uh, the western half was under Ottoman control and in this time Abbas came to power at a very young age he was only I believe 16 years of age when he came to rule and uh, he succeeded his father who was murdered or likely died of natural causes and uh, during this time uh, it was Iran was very unstable his mother had been murdered by uh, by one of the well she was she was one of his mother she was murdered by uh, the Kizilbash and Abbas came into a very into a into sorry into a Safavid state which was very weak and during Abbas's lifetime he would reverse the losses of uh, the he would reverse the disastrous uh, defeats of the war of 1578 to 1590 and he would uh, reconquer much of the lost provinces he would also defeat the Uzbeks in battle and reconquer Iran's eastern territories and he actually reigned at uh, he reigned at the height of the Safavid dynasty Sorry again, I'm not using a script, so please forgive me for all the stuttering and the minor mishaps. Anyhow, uh, Shah Abbas came to rule Iran. Uh, he ascended to the throne of uh, Iran in the year, uh, I believe it was in 1588, after the death of his father and during his lifetime when his reign began. And Iran was again in a very uh, poor situation. What he did in the beginning was uh, he set out to weaken the power of the Kizilbash, and he did this by uh, utilizing a Caucasian layer. He imported Caucasian slaves from the Caucasus, from Armenia, as well as from Georgia and Circassia, and he utilized these slaves and he made them replace the Kizilbash. And the Kizilbash were replaced by these slaves and this new Caucasian layer. And this layer proved to be integral to the formation of the future of the Safavid state. And this layer uh, completely replaced the older uh, Kizilbash elite which dominated Persia. Anyhow, Abbas's first conflicts were within Ottoman territory. Sorry, not within Ottoman, but within Safavid territory. So within Iran, he defeated the Padospanid dynasty of Tabaristan and he re-established control there. And this was his first major victory. And uh, he uh, ended the Padospanids, who were direct descendants of Jamas, a Sasanian uh, emperor. And uh, the Padospanids was the last reigning dynasty who claimed descent from the House of Sasan. Anyways, this was. Uh, uh, Abbas's first major victory and uh, he also appointed Alaverdi Khan as commander-in-chief of the Safavid army and this was another interesting thing to note here. Abbas also had the support of Westerners. Robert Shirley went to Iran and he helped modernize the Iranian army. Anthony and Robert Shirley both both of them were brothers and both of them helped modernize uh, the Iranian army and both of them were from England and they went to Iran and they helped modernize the Iranian army. But anyway, the first major war, uh, uh, more, uh, sorry, the first major war Shah Abbas had to fight was against the Uzbeks and he managed to win. He managed to reconquer Herat as well as Mashhad and finally conquer Balkh. And this managed to put the, this was a huge setback for the Uzbeks, but nonetheless, he also managed to take control of Sabzavar, Faran, Nisa. So now uh, his the northeast frontier was safe after these victories and it allowed the uh, Safavids to re-establish control where they had previously lost it in previous wars against the Uzbeks. After these victories, Abbas actually moved the capital from Kazwin to Isfahan and he now looked eastward, westwards rather, and uh, he declared war on the Ottomans and this war would be a long war. It would last between 1603 and 1618, but during this war, he managed to reconquer all of the lost territory from the Ottomans. So he reconquered Azerbaijan, Hamadan, Kurdistan, as well as Akhwaz, and this was a major war, and in, 15, in 1624 rather, 
rather. He even captured Baghdad and this was a major uh, victory for the Safavids as it was after 90 years that Baghdad came in their control again. Baghdad had fallen to the Ottomans in 1535 but after 90 years finally they managed to reconquer Baghdad and it was a major victory and Abbas was the leading commander there and they would keep Baghdad until 1638 to 1639 rather when Murad the 4th reconquered it for the Ottomans but anyways this was a major victory and after these uh, victories against the Ottomans Abbas turned his attention to the Georgian states of Kartli and Kakheti. Abbas's invasion of Georgia was very successful as he managed to kill around uh, 100,000 Georgians and, and, and enslave and import around 200,000 Georgians to Iran and this was a major victory and the rulers of Kartli and Kakadi Plo both pledged their loyalty to Abbas after this uh, incident. They were Luar Saab the second and Timuraz the first and after the, these victories both of them became loyal and both of them became a part of uh, Shah Abbas's empire and this was a major victory for Shah Abbas as uh, it re-established uh, Safavid control over uh, the uh, provinces uh, of uh, Kartli and Kakari which were in revolt and which uh, were very valuable to the uh, Safavid state. And this also allowed for the importation of a new elite within the Safavid uh, Empire and this was the Caucasian elite led by the Georgians and the Circassians. After the successful campaigns against Kartli and Kakheti, Abbas turned his attention to the Mughals and uh, he invaded the Mughals and captured uh, the city of uh, Kandahar in 1623 and this was a major victory. Kandahar had been originally take, given to the Mughals by the, uh, sorry, given to the Safavids by the Mughals. Uh, for, for Tomas perceived it from Humayun because he helped Humayun reclaim his throne in Mughal India from the Sur Empire. But anyways, it was retaken by the Mughals in the late the 16th century and then it was reconquered by Abbas in 1623 and this was a major victory and uh, this was a very not notable victory and after this he declared war on the Portuguese. After uh, Abbas's successful campaigns against the Mughals he turned to the Portuguese and he defeated the Portuguese on southern uh, on Iran's southern coast and captured the city of Ormuz in 1622 and this was a major uh, uh, he, this was a major uh, victory for uh, the uh, Safavids and uh, he, uh, uh, Abbas created a new port in uh, Hormuz named Bandar Abbas after his name and today this is a major city in Iran and this victory allowed uh, for uh, the, uh, the Safavids to expel the uh, foreigners in uh, Bandar uh, Abbas in this region in Hormuz and these foreigners for the were the uh, Portuguese and it also ended any western attempts to colonize Iran or establish long-standing colonies in Iran. Abbas also very was contributed to the arts and was a patron of the arts as illustrated by his reliefs in the Chahal Satun Palace. He made a lot of reliefs there. He was a very major patron of the arts and he did a lot. He made a lot of buildings and structures and he did this very uh, to uh, help uh, Iran and to increase Iran's uh, artistic uh, output. And finally, what uh, another thing he did was he suppressed the religious minorities and he uh, established contact with Europe. So he helped Shia, he helped uh, spread Shiism in Iran and he also had made contacts with Europe. He attempted to establish an alliance with the uh, the rulers of Europe but uh, this failed and uh, specifically England and he sent uh, first this diplomatic mission to Europe in uh, 1599 but it failed and this was an attempt to align with Spain as well as uh, uh, England but this ultimately both of these attempts failed and he died in uh, 1529 and uh, yeah that's essentially it for this video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and uh, take care and uh, thanks again